am having mixed successes in my pot garden this year. Strawberries are doing okay. They're ripening very gradually, so every time I go out there and I see one that's ready, I'm taking it. Because it's a battle between me, the slugs, and the neighbours. Or, not even the neighbours, just people who pass. Um, I've strategically put the pots around so that the stuff that looks interesting, like the strawberries, is shielded from my view at the street. And so far, I've only had to battle with the slugs. But I seem to be winning the battle. Because it's now turned really dry again, they're not coming out as much. My runner beans have been a disaster and that's because the slugs have just stripped them completely. Don't know what to do about that. Um, can I plant them indoors? Keep them in pots indoors until they're ready to go out? I mean I thought they went out, I thought they were quite big when they went out and the slugs just went mental for them. So I'm not sure whether to have another go with a late crop and just plant them indoors and then just put them out during the day. I don't know. However, my broad beans, on the other hand, are doing quite well. So, two plants have started producing, or have produced, broad beans. This is what I've taken off today. And these were the wonky plants, the ones that I planted far too early in the winter. And didn't look like they were going to come to anything. So those were the ones that I planted indoors and then put out. But they'd sprouted so much by January. Um, they didn't look like they were going to come to much and they've produced broad beans so that's fantastic. Uh, the other plants that I planted second time around they are now flowering so that will give me a crop uh, probably in a month or two depending on how the weather goes so that's been alright. The potatoes that I've been chitting from uh, the supermarket they're growing they're doing okay probably get something out of that and I've got four uh, three new potatoes chitting on my windowsill at the moment for the second batch um, I won't have to put those out till later though peas I am reminded peas are not worth planting um, unless you plant lots of them so the plants that I have planted are producing pods this is the first three that I've picked today there are lots of others and I'm just waiting for them to grow but it's not really a crop that's worth me doing because I can't do it in a big enough scale to make the eating worth it. Um, I have mint plants, they're doing well. Um, that's it at the moment. My tomato plants, which have started very slowly, it seems to be that when you plant them, and I always plant them in um, toilet rolls so they get so that when you transplant them, you don't upset the roots but they seem to get to a point where they just stop growing and then unless you plant them on they won't do anything so I've now ended up with quite a lot of plants because I, I, I took everything out of the toilet rolls put everything into pots and suddenly in the last week and a bit they've suddenly shot up they're still really small but they have trebled their size they are growing really fast now that I've repotted them on and I've got uh, probably enough spr purple sprouting broccoli to put in a new batch this year. Today I've just uprooted my last plant. Um, they were past their best anyway and the aphids again just stripped them this year. Um, but they were like two or three years old already. Even the butterflies didn't bother trying to lay on them this year. So I've got new plants that will be ready to go in, I don't know, whenever they're ready to go in, probably in the autumn. Um, and they look okay so I have as you can see I've got loads of tomatoes now some of those will go down to my parents um, most of them I will keep here because I have more room and then as things die off and become rotational I will replant things I've got enough space I've potentially got enough earth if I'm careful with what I plant I might have to buy a bag of soil or something but I'll try not to um, and that's pretty much it uh, yeah, so I haven't produced an awful lot this year. It looks like, typically, just as I go away, it's going to turn into a sauna again. It always does this. And it doesn't matter whether I plan to go away in June, July or August. It always ends up being really hot. Just a couple of weeks while I'm away, and then I end up worrying whether everything's going to be alive when I get back. Things do have a habit of surviving because as long as there's a bit of rain coming from somewhere we'll tend to get some hot days and then it'll just tip down 
uh, because I think the air pressure just builds up so much. So I'm going to, I don't know whether to pod these or just leave them as they are, and I'm just going to add these to stir fries. I've never done these before. They're really easy to grow, the broad beans. The flowers are beautiful, and if they're more slug resistant, I think these are going to be better for my pot garden than bothering with the runner beans. I do have lots of runner bean seeds though, so I need to decide what I'm going to do. I might be better off just... The problem is they get really big and they need big pots, and I can't be dragging that in and, door, in and out every day. So I'll have to think about that. I, I can't stop the slugs, it's really difficult, even though all my plants are on a like, patio. There's a lot of slugs around, you know, they're living in inside and under the pots. When I dig over the pots in spring, the number of slug eggs that are in the earth is just crazy. So I don't know what to do about that. Anyway, so we are having some successes. So I think it will be a late harvest of... Um, tomatoes but that's fine uh, I've got lots of plants this year I didn't have any success last year everything died in the heat while I was away and then it was too late in the season to do anything about it so this is a new breed of tomatoes that I have now they're called Elsa um, and I'm going to give see what well, we'll see how those go but I'm hopeful so that's my update on the garden uh, <laughs> Small though it is, it's, it's about producing things that I can easily use in my recipes, in my cooking, that don't take up huge amounts of space, that I'm willing to put up with having a, a week or so where they're dry because I'm not here. I need resilient stuff, that's the thing. So this, um, this seems to work. I think that the broad beans are a good one. I will stick with those and I may try runner beans again, give them one more go when I get back from my next trip away. They do tend to grow quite fast so I'll see what I can do. It would be a shame not to give them another go because the first year I did runner beans here which was about three years ago and they were brilliant, they were absolutely amazing. They produced so many runner beans and the flowers were beautiful and for some reason this year the slugs have just gone mad for them. Maybe it's because of a different variety, I don't know. Um, the first year that I produced them, I actually grew them from um, beans that I bought in the supermarket, and they did really well. And this year's, which are a proper seed variety that I've bought from a, a garden place, um, they've just stripped them bare. So maybe there's something in those supermarket plants. And I will buy them if I see them on yellow, on yellow sticker discount in the supermarket because, you know, it's free seeds. You know, you get a pack of yellow sticker um, runner beans and if you keep a pod or two, you've got enough seeds for the next year and then you might not have to buy any next year. So it's all about that growing on and that rotationalness of it. So that's where we are. Um, things are growing, things are happening, but it's... It's very green this year. Everything I'm growing is green. Let's hope the tomatoes do well because I need that splash of colour in my garden. I've been quite enjoying uh, doing the cleaning at the business that I clean for the last couple of weeks. They've been having a bit of a shift around in the office so the boss who was desperately clinging on to pre-retirement has now had his office taken away from him. He doesn't really come in anymore and it's not like he needs it. They've taken away his office and it's such a big office they've put four new desks in there and they're bringing in new staff, they've got some graduates in um, and it's really nice because they're having a big clear, clear out and a big shift around which means for the first time in ages I've managed to get to some of the desks that I've hardly ever cleaned because they don't have a clear desk policy so I can't get into anything and it's been really nice to have some clear desks they've had a big clear out so some of the stuff that's been building up in the office has been building up for the whole of the, like, the 20 odd years they've been there and it's just junk and it's just been you know it's like you do you put something in the corner and you leave it there and then you put something else on top of it and you leave it there before you know it so they've had an enormous clear out and it looks so much better and it's so much easier to clean now however they are an incredibly wasteful company 
I think. To my mind, when I look at how much they throw out, the huge amounts of junk food they eat, I mean, I've never seen such a small number of people get through so much junk. I mean, they have this, this centre desk thing in the middle of the office and it's like the snack bar and it's always full of cake and biscuits there's always fruit and the fruit always goes off at the end but there's always so much stuff on there and when I empty the bins I mean they're absolutely full of crisp packets and um, supermarket sandwiches and stuff like that I mean god bless these people's hearts uh, and in fact, doing that has reminded me of my unhealthy eating habits or some of them. Now, I don't eat as badly as that, but it's always been a reminder. When, so three times, three, four times a week I go in there in bits and it's a reminder of what I shouldn't be eating. Because when I go in there, I see it and then that stops me from wanting to do it at home because I see, oh my God, you eat all that. So in some ways, psychologically, it's been quite good for my eating habits because it's made me more aware of how bad I could be. Um, but they've had a massive clear out. They've chucked loads of stuff away and they, I don't think they've even really sorted through it. So I was finding so much stuff in the bins and my frugal waste not want not mentality is why would you throw something away that still has a use? So if I've seen something that is useful, um, something that, that will either save me money or I just don't think deserves to be thrown away, I'll take it. I mean, it's going to end up in the bin. They don't care. They have no interest whatsoever. I've seen, I mean, it's not just stuff, it's actual food. I've seen whole boxes of cake being thrown out, unopened packets of biscuits, um, bags of fruit they just don't care they they have it there they don't use it they lob it in the bin and it breaks my heart sometimes on some of the stuff that I've seen them throw out so some of the stuff that they've been throwing out recently has been stationary and I love stationary but stationary is definitely a luxury one not a need and so I've been adopting some of it shall we say so last week there was an entire block of A4 printer paper lobbed in the bin expensive stuff so I took that home um, and I wanted to show you some of the things that I've picked up in the last few days so these pens now there's only what five of them in there but they're brand new and they work and they're really nice little gel pens actually I've started using one of them really nice unused block of post-its can't go wrong with a post-it note this lovely little lined notepad which has never been used a bigger version in blue which has also never been used and this lovely pack of writing notepad which it looks like it's had a few sheets on it but there are boxes of stuff everywhere where it's just been moved out of an office that they want to repopulate with new staff they haven't decided what to do with it they lob it in a box in one of the spare rooms and then eventually it ends up in the bin. So I'm adopting things that can be used. And they also chuck out loads of packaging. So loads of bubble wrap, really useful little boxes, um, the plastic um, envelopes that you get for packaging stuff. And in my business, I recycle and upcycle all my packaging from other people's unwanted packaging so that I then don't have to pass the costs on to customers. So if there's like a box in the bin in, that they've thrown out in the bin or whatever, I, uh, I take that as well. I can't help it. I have a, a dumpster diver mentality. If I see something that's useful, uh, I mean, I've got whole stacks of furniture. I mean, there's shelving, bookcases, all sorts of things that I've uh, rescued from, from skips and things over uh, the last eight or nine years that I use here in the flat. Loads of stuff has been gifted from people that were going to lob it out and didn't want it here, do you want this? And because people have got to know that I have this mentality, um, they're always offering me stuff. So I get loads of free stuff. And I don't sell it on, and most of the time I keep it and I use it for myself. But if I suppose if I saw something that was useful, 
and I didn't want it, but I want. I thought it deserved an extra life. I might sell it on. I've never done that. Um, so yeah, so the decluttering is wonderful. The building looks great. It's looking so much nicer. I can get to more of the spaces that I haven't been able to dust since I started there last September, last September because you can't get near anything. As I say, they don't have this um, clear desk policy. So very often, there are certain desks I've never ever got to clean since I've been there because they're always covered in paperwork and it's not just dumped paperwork, it's in progress work. And if you move stuff around, you're ruining somebody's workflow, so I don't touch it. But I have said, you know, if you want your desk cleaned, you need to clear it. And some people are quite happy living in a mess. And, you know, I've been working there almost a year. No one's complained yet that I haven't cleaned their messy desk. So I'm just going to keep going as I am until someone says something. But I do clean the bits that I can get to. So that's satisfying. I have loads of free stationery now, which makes me kind of happy. And I get to see a really nice, tidy, decluttered office, which is really enjoyable. I love a declutter. I love a good tidy up. Um, it just kind of refreshes everything. Mentally, it's, it, it makes your brain feel good. You feel more relaxed. And just going into the office, and, and every time I've been going in there in the last two weeks, I've seen another little change and another little tidy up, and it's just been great. So I've really enjoyed that. So um, it's my update. I'm I'm adopting other people's unwanted stuff, and if you're going to lob it in the bin, I'm sorry, I will take it home with me. It's Monday morning, which has created the perfect setup for a morning walk. It's just after eight o'clock and I didn't really go out at the weekend. I did both my cleans, so I did go out, but it wasn't like going out. And it was really, really hot all weekend. We've got a lot of hot weather all week, I think. I think it's gonna get to about 26, 27 degrees this week. Um, and I'm not really a one for going out and roasting in the sun. So I'm just going to get on with work stuff, probably. But this morning I just couldn't wait to get out, just get some fresh air. It's still cool at this time of the day. I don't think if I even really need the, the wind muffler, it's still as anything. But I've brought it anyway. So yesterday I tackled... Um, a dress project that I've kind of been working on all the year actually and um, it's really a prototype but I haven't decided how I want it to be anyway so a lot of yesterday was taken up with that it'll probably get an airing on here somewhere it'll definitely be on my business channel which is really a behind the scenes channel it's not a it's not a sales channel at all Look at these bramble hedges. We're going to have so many blackberries this year. I've only got a week. I only realised over the weekend that I've only got a week before I head on down to my parents. So I've got to get myself sorted. I haven't even thought about packing or anything like that because it seems to have come around again so fast. This year it's just going so fast, it's ridiculous. It's gonna be July next week. We'll be over, well we will be half, we'll be over halfway through the year. It's just crazy. I don't like it at all. It goes too fast. And especially when you look at it and you list down, so what have I done this year? And then you realize I actually haven't done that much this year. So, I don't know, I, uh, I have lists and plans and I do them, but it's obviously not enough to make it feel like this year has been very, very productive. Anyway, so this vlog, which has already started, as you can tell, is really the roundup of my week before I go away. I won't be doing any food shopping because I'm going away. 
and then I'll be making sure that uh, there's nothing left over. Any veg that's left over can go in the freezer so that nothing's wasted. I'm really looking forward to getting away. Um, hopefully the weather will hold, but of course I'm also worried that it's going to be really, really wet, uh, really, really hot while I'm away and everything in my little pot garden is going to die. Hasn't quite happened yet, but this is peak weather season and I tend to go away in it. Anyway, so I'm just out for this little fabulous little morning stroll. It's so peaceful here. It's too early for people. Although the kids are starting to arrive at school, so it's going to pick up in a bit. But for the moment, because I probably won't leave the flat again today. I'm taking this opportunity to get out and feel like I've done some exercise. Gorgeous start to the week. Absolutely stunning. Fabulous. Catch you later. So this afternoon, or actually most of Monday, I have spent doing a bit of rejigging. So I talked about how work were um, having a great big tidy up and a shift around and all that sort of thing, and how much I loved seeing how they had decluttered and what have you. And then I watched a YouTube video, and it was a girl who was talking about how she set up her upcycle business and she works from home and her studio looked really nice it had space there were tables I mean it wasn't like immaculately perfect it was a proper little at home handmade studio but it looked so decluttered and I think one of the problems I'm having with my creativity at the moment is that I feel like I'm working in a cupboard it's just badly laid out there's no room there's no table space i have no pattern cutting table nowhere i can lay out fabric and cut it i have to do it on the floor and it's you know it's just ridiculous anyway so i decided today to completely rejig around my studio space and try and freshen it up a bit in the hope that it'll just inspire me to do a bit more work so <sighs> I don't think you can see this. This is all new. So that's all new space. So those two cupboard, those two shelves there used to be there. And the black cupboard that is now there on its side used to be on top of that metal one that is there and they were piled on top of each other and then in this corner was nothing because the sewing machine was up against the wall so I've pulled the machine out I've put some of the cupboards in that corner because that's dead space and I've created a new work table and it's standing height because um, that's the best way for me to work I've moved my sewing table up I've cleared a lot of the junk that was off the window sills so I can get more light in and I've just tried to make it a bit more of a space that I can it's like I can breathe in it because it just felt awful it, it really was like I was working in a storage unit and it's just absolutely horrible so I'm hoping that this new layout that side is still exactly the same at the moment. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. But this side now is better. There's less, less stuff masking the outdoors. And because I'm starting to get a little bit inspired into making stuff again with that dress that I've been doing and a few other things, I just needed more room. I have, well, I feel like I've gained a bit of floor space 
and once this rail which is my vintage rail is small enough I can put stuff on that rail there but at the moment there's too much and I just need to get the rest of this stuff sold I want it gone and it's now dinner time so I've literally I did my walk came back did some admin and literally the whole day has just gone just doing this but I have to say it feels nice I love this little table that I've got here now it's not big enough to do fabric cutting or any big work on but it's a lot better than it was um, it's a start it's all I can do I don't have the space to move around anywhere short of turning this room into my front room and turning the front room into my studio which would be a nightmare because I can't drag sofas between rooms on my own and then I mean a, a tiny front room wouldn't be a big deal but there's still a ton of furniture in there you know um, so it is what it is and I just have to live with it because you know I'm lucky to have this space at all really but I do need to have a, con a declutter so there are lots of uh, like the storage boxes and things that I've brought I've just brought them straight back through and I haven't tidied them up really what I wanted to do was to, just to get everything in the right place and what I now need to do is start going through those boxes and just having a really good throw out because I've just acquired junk over the six years that I've been here and there's just so much stuff I just can't throw anything away everything everything's useful of course it is everything's useful but I can't use everything and I need to be really strict and say right okay that has to go this has to go I, I can empty that box and that's a bit more space I've got so I just need to be really ruthless you know since I acquired the um, the, the tall boy unit there last year was that last year or this year I don't even know it might have been earlier this year I've completely lost my track of time um, that takes up an extra bit of room although it also provide some storage uh, solutions because all the bottom is full of fabric the top is my my larder still still full of all my my food and bits and bobs in there um, there's more food stored up there because there's no space in the kitchen you know these are two bedroom flats and they have families in them and I just don't know how people move around because this is what happens when you, you take a studio, you empty out a studio and you have to bring it back home with like three days notice and everything just gets dumped and then you just say, ah. But I've got no excuses because the, the business has been here for like six years. <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, that's my update. That's the end of Monday. Monday is almost now officially over. And um, yeah, that's the end of that. Blimey. So today was Wednesday. And I didn't go and clean because I got a call yesterday afternoon to say they wouldn't be around on Wednesday and could I clean on Thursday, which was fine. And in some ways I was actually quite relieved because today it was going to be 28 degrees and cleaning in that was just not fun. Now... Tomorrow, being Thursday, I was going to go on another hike, which I have now completed, which is why I'm laying sprawled out on the sofa, not really able to move. I'm a bit tired now. It's been a long day. Um, so instead, I decided to do my hike today. Now, although it was the hottest day, and I think it did get to 28 degrees here, up on the moors where I was hiking it was much fresher so I had a really good early start I sat my alarm for seven I was on the road I think at ten to eight and I think I got there probably about quarter to nine or nine o'clock I can't even remember I had a really great hike not as hard as the other one the weather was cooler because it was much windier so there's that lovely fresh air and the heat didn't really pick up until after I got back. So it's been a good day. So I got I got back about I think about two o'clock. 
and I uploaded all the pictures and I've just been faffing around since then really. So keep an eye out for my next video which is um, Stand Edge to Wessendon. There's kind of an explanation on there as to why I decided to choose that hike and having now been there it's also given me ideas for where else I can hike so every hike I go on I can see a point where I go ah okay that's the next place I'm going to go to so that's really been interesting um, this is my last few days before I go away so there won't be any more hikes for a bit so I'll be down at my parents for a couple of weeks uh, doing whatever I do down there and then we'll see what the weather's like when I get back as to doing some more so I'm just chilling out for a bit um, and I've been editing since I got back just to try and break the back of that because they're long recording days and I end up with about three hours of material I have to sort through so I like to break the worst of it whilst I'm still in that space and then I will keep editing over the next few days to get this out before I go away. And then you will see it whenever you see it. Um, and in actual fact, I don't think the Wessenden Trail one will have gone up as I'm recording this. So I've got quite a backlog of videos at the moment, uh, which is good because it means that I can have a few days of not having to think about recording anything. So, yeah, I've added a couple of clips here of me doing that second hike. And that's it, really. So that's Wednesday. Thursday is now clean day. And then I'm rapidly rolling towards going away and I still have to fit in two more cleans before I go at the weekend and I've got to pack, and I have to clean house, and I have to be organised and follow my lists that I've been making for the last couple of days. Um, I think I'm going to do the, the weekend cleans that I normally do, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, I'm going to do all at once on, um, on Saturday, so that I have all of Sunday just to get organised, um, pack, change the bed, sort all the plants out. I don't know what the weather's going to be doing while I'm away. If it's really hot here then I don't know how much is going to survive but we shall see. Anyway this week has been gorgeous and has felt very productive. So yeah it's been a good one. It's been really good. Uh, yeah all good. We're having a good time. Oh, I meant to add, so I think it's been about a month since I decided I had to sort my diet out. And my first plan was to get rid of all the food that was bad, that I shouldn't be eating, the, the food that was encouraging me to snack and to graze and all that sort of thing. So instead of throwing it out, because why would you waste food, I've been systematically eating my way through it, knowing that there was an end point because I've stopped buying it. So that stuff, I reckon a week, maybe a week and a bit of that, and it's all gone now. There is now no food left, which is snack food. So my eating's got healthier, but only because that's all there is left to eat. Do I feel better? I certainly don't feel worse. I am snacking less because there isn't anything to eat. Um, I don't feel guilty all the time for grazing. Uh, I feel the same in myself. I feel less sluggish, but I think a lot of that's got to do with me during the hikes, I revamped my studio, 
which I think I've mentioned on here, I can't remember. Anyway, I had a massive rejig of my studio because I decided that um, some of the reason I'm not very creative at the moment is because I feel like I'm working in a storage unit. Anyway, so I did a whole video of that on my business channel, um, like my my uh, handmade business channel, uh, that just goes through all of that. So this last week has been extra productive, and that feels very satisfying. Even though I don't look look it at the moment, that's because the post walk tiredness has suddenly crept up on me um, but yeah we've had a good week I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more to this week's vlog I probably will actually because I need to do the look I'm going away bit so this might be a bit longer than usual I've got a few more days to to pack in anyway I'm going to stop now because I'm rambling because I'm tired catch up in a bit Sunday morning. Tomorrow I am heading down south. Today I am finishing up around the flat, getting organised. Um, I'm not cleaning today because I did the whole lot yesterday so that I would have today just to finish off at home and get myself organised. Um, that means there's no shop today. Hasn't been very good the last week or so anyway, um, very few yellow stickers and I need to do a review of my monthly food spend. It's up again this month because I haven't been buying as much, I've been using the stores. So things that I've had in the freezer unused that had a monetary value against them but I've been rolling over I've now used. So I've ended up with about £31 of food spend this month. Um, I haven't shopped as much because I'm not buying a lot of the rubbish that I used to buy. I'm literally just going in for vegetables now. So there hasn't been as much available. Um, and nothing on the cashback apps this month. It's been really, really quiet. I really think that brands are starting to just pull back and not offer so much free stuff because I guess their budgets are tight despite their multi-million pound profit margins. Um, so yeah, so today I'm just finishing up, I need to hoover and clean and finish the packing, I need to change the, the bed, and I have some vegetables left in the kitchen, in the fridge, that I need to blanch and put in the freezer so nothing gets wasted, I'm going to have half a head of sweetheart cabbage, and an entire broccoli, but that's fine because I will just blanch it, put it in the freezer and then it will be good to go when I get back. Any milk will go back into the freezer, uh, that means there's just nothing left over. We don't waste stuff, but I've managed to whittle everything down so that there are potatoes over, the, 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 the root veg bag is, is empty, um, and it looks pretty good. I have some plants to pack. I'm taking some tomatoes down for my parents. These have really sprouted up since I repotted them and they'll have another two weeks while I'm down at my parents to put on a spurt um, but I probably will plant them out. They're just going to have to hold their own uh, and hopefully everything else will survive while I'm away. The weather is it went from looking like it was going to be a scorcher while I was away to looking like it's just going to rain the whole time. And it doesn't look like it's going to be that amazing down at my parents, although it's going to be a couple of degrees higher. It's hard to know how to pack, so you have to pack for hot summer weather and cold winter weather. I'm back in jumpers again now. Uh, the last couple of days it's just rained and been really windy. Temperatures are down below 20, which in some ways has been better because it's made the cleaning work easier. And it just means that I'm not gonna be roasting as I'm walking around trying to get myself sorted. So that's not too bad. Uh, I need to sort the car out, I need to check the tire pressures, all that sort of thing and get the, the boot down so that I can fill it up. Not taking very much this time, taking some sewing stuff. Um, so I'll have a little task to do and I know that mum and dad have some little, couple of little sewing jobs for me and there was a couple of other things and I can't remember what they were now. So that'll keep me busy. 
and I think that's going to be it. I'm going to check outside to see if there's any broad beans that I can take off the off off the plants before I go. There's nothing that's going to, or it doesn't look like there's anything that's going to ripen while I'm away. And provided we don't end up with really really hot weather in the second week, uh, but even if we do, actually, at least it'll only be a week thing because it looks like it's going to rain all week. So I won't have to worry quite so much about the plants, which is good. And that's it really, so um, six months of the year is over today, as in when I'm recording this, which is crazy. Second half of 2024 starts tomorrow. We better make sure it's a good one. See you on the other side.